Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. Today's video is all about the new My Favorite Things kit. It's called Wild About Rainbows and it is their December 2020 kit. Now today I only have about four cards as inspiration because December is almost over and I want to get this video up real fast for you guys so that you could grab the kit if you want before it sells out. So let's dive right in, take a look at what comes in this awesome kit. I love receiving my My Favorite Things kit in the mail because it comes in this great protective box with this fantastic message on the outside. This Sending Hugs die was my freebie that I got to choose for spending over $60. U.S. customers also receive free shipping over $50 as well. This is the Color Blast die that reminds me of a rainbow pouring down. The stencil is called English Brick Wall and I added it to my order because I had an idea for using it with this kit and I like the subtle background you can create with it for a lot of different cards. There are two sentiment stamp sets in this kit. This is Happy Day set and this is a kit exclusive cannot be purchased separately. This Good Vibes Only stamp set can be found in the kit or purchased individually. This is the Cascading Rainbows die. Here is the inspiration sheet for the kit and of course the Jelly Belly. Last but not least, you get five sheets of smooth white cardstock and a rainbow of eight different colors of My Favorite Things cardstock as well. Okay, now that we've taken a look at the kit, I'm gonna share a couple of cards with each of the rainbow dies, and I'm gonna mix in some of the stamps and other products that I got as well. For each die, I'm choosing a rainbow assortment of cardstocks. You can see there are six rainbow arcs on the Color Blast die, so I chose six different colors of cardstock from my rainbow, and I'll cut the die out of all six colors, leaving me plenty of extras for more cards. You can see that the dies are slightly larger than an A2, so I cut all of my cardstock in half, making them all 8.5 by 5.5 to cut the full die and have some extra bits for sentiment strips as well. The Cascading Rainbow die has seven rainbow arcs, so I went with a slightly different grouping of colors, starting with pink instead of red. Let's start with this simple card made with the Cascading Rainbow die. If you're having trouble figuring out which strip goes next, grab the die to see which size and shape you need. This is especially helpful if you have a pile of each color like I did, since I cut the whole die out of each color. I found it easiest to start with the largest strip, which is my pink. I added tape runner to the back with my favorite tape runner from Thermoweb that easily handles curves. You can see how the bottom of the pink lines up perfectly with the bottom right corner of the A2 panel. Next, it's easy to line up the bottom of the orange strip with the bottom of the panel and then just make sure to line it up right next to the pink stripe so that there's no white showing between the two. From there, just continue through all the remaining colors of the rainbow using tape runner or whichever adhesive you prefer. I like tape runner because of the lack of dry time, but if you prefer a little bit of movement at first to line up your lines, liquid would work here really well as well. Once all the lines are adhered, simply flip over the panel and use nonstick scissors to trim off any excess. Or use a paper trimmer if there's a little line of cardstock with nothing adhered to it to create a nice straight line. The I Believe in You sentiment from the Good Vibes Only stamp set fit perfectly in the white space in the upper right corner, so I lined it up in my mini Misty and stamped it twice with Gina K Black Amalgam Ink. This is a super simple card, but I love this rainbow and sentiment together, and while I could embellish it, I decided to just leave it as is. For the second card, I'm using the same cascading rainbow die, but adding my freebie die in as a sentiment. Since I started with pink on my last rainbow, I needed to start with a different color for this one, so I started with purple this time and went through the rainbow with pink next. This is a great way to make additional cards with those extra strips. Next time, I could start with blue, and then purple and pink would be the third second and third color, etc., etc. This time I grabbed another A2 white panel and the Sending You Hugs die. I temporarily adhered the die in the middle of the white panel and sent it through my die cut machine. I carefully removed the die and tape and punched out the letters from the sentiment. I'm just going to use the negative piece for this card, but I'll save those little positive letters for later. When I placed the die cut sentiment over my rainbow background, I realized I would have some white showing through and I didn't want that. So I added a couple of extra strips on top of the purple. They don't fit perfectly here because they weren't meant to be added in this direction, 
but I just make sure they are up against the color next to them and then trim off the excess. Lastly, I added some foam tape to the top and bottom of the sentiment die cut panel and pop it up on top of the rainbow and trim off the bits of the back that you could still see from the front, just being extra special careful not to accidentally cut the front panel at all, which I have done in the past. I found the tiny centers of the D and O and decided just to adhere them with tape runner because the foam tape pieces would have to be so super tiny to fit behind them. For this next card, I am using the Color Blast Rainbow Die. First, I'm going to use some pixie spray on the back of the English brick stencil sprayed over on top of my waffle flower water media mat. I placed an A2 white piece of cardstock in the overspray on the mat to really make sure the cardstock stays in place. Then put the stencil down on top of that A2 panel of cardstock and add a bit of pressure to make sure all those little stencil lines also stay in place. I'm using Distress Oxide and Hickory Smoke and a round foam blending tool to apply the ink over the stencil. I'm using a pretty light application here because I want this background to be super subtle. I cut the panel down to four by five and a quarter and got ready to adhere the rainbow. The Color Blast die has six rainbow pieces and it's easiest to adhere the two center ones first that meet in a straight line right in the middle and are slightly curved on their outsides. Once those are done, it's easy to work your way towards both outer edges from the center again, making sure to line them up next to each other to avoid any white showing through. I love the way this rainbow looks on the gray brick. It looks just as I imagined it would. Flip the panel over and trim off the excess. I grabbed the Choose Kindness Sentiment stamp from the Good Vibes Only stamp set and I'm lining it up on the very bottom of my mini Misty. I love when sentiment strips like this have enough excess at the bottom of the stamp that you can line it up at the bottom of the Misty and it will stamp perfectly as a strip with a bit of a tiny margin at the bottom. I stamped in black ink and trimmed it down in my Tim Holtz trimmer. I added a thin bit of foam tape to the back of the sentiment and found that I liked the sentiment in a few different places but ultimately went with almost in the center just a tiny bit higher. Then I decided to use up those hugs letters that I had cut from the die in the last card and adhered them above the choose kindness. The bricks from the stencil are very helpful for lining things up. For this last simple card, I wanted to use more of the die cut strips from the Color Blast die. So this time I have the red and orange in the center rather than on the left. I went backwards to purple and blue, moving towards the right, and then the normal Rojibiv towards the left. You can get creative with how you start your rainbows and really use up all of those strips. It looks like I had to trim off a lot of the rainbow here. That was actually my mistake. I was not working on an A2 panel, so it wasn't four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is the reason why I prefer to keep only A2 scraps on my desk. Oh well, it's not a big deal. It just ended up being a smaller card. I stamped the Happy Day sentiment from that kit exclusive stamp set in black ink on white cardstock. The contrast of black and white with the rainbows is so powerful. I trimmed the sentiment down to a rectangle and popped it up on foam adhesive and placed it on my rainbow panel. Super, super simple, but so happy and colorful. You all know how much I love rainbows, so I have another video over here of how to make quick and easy rainbow cards if you're interested. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I have a new video available in 2021. As always, I wanna thank you so much for spending time with me. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope you have a wonderful and happy new year.